Norwich Rugby Club have decided to leave their deteriorating grounds and relocate here, bringing with them a £4 million development, including a new pavilion, car parking for 300 cars and 30 new sports pitches. Ecology experts and local residents are concerned about the effect this will have on the local wildlife that this area is so famous for. Ian Barr from UEA has been vocal about the impact this project will have on the ecology of the area. Ian, why are you opposed to this rugby development? Uh, well, actually, I'm not opposed to the, the rugby de development. I've lodged an objection um, to it as a comment on the um, South Norfolk portal, but um, I'm objecting to the way in which it's been evidenced rather than objecting to actually the development, which I categorically have said all along, I do not object to this development. What I believe is that um, the ecology hasn't been considered adequately and the effect of the development on the river behind us haven't, hasn't been considered adequately by the university or by the council. And so my objection lies around I'd like everyone to be as fully informed as they can be to make that decision of impact. So you're willing to work with the university to make sure that this development is done sustainably? Uh, I always have been. If the university are willing to, to work with me, that would be absolutely great. I've offered my services for free of charge, but they've been declined on several several occasions. So um, there's a bit, bit of controversy about um, about that. And I just want the information that we gather as part of our jobs and as part of the expertise that the university has to be used. It is clear that Ian is in favour of developing the facilities for sports teams. However, his issue is with the unprofessional ecological surveys that were undertaken to inform the public of the true impact this project would have on sensitive species in the area. Phil Steele, Director of Sport at UEA, denies that there will be any major impact on wildlife. You look at what we've got, it's a playing field site. We're creating under two hectares of more playing space. But it's, it's the impact, I guess, of car parking, pavilion, artificial pitch, and then the floodlights mm -hmm. that go with that, which create the biggest concern. So what benefits will this development bring to the university and the local community? The first issue is around capacity, so the, the ability to, to take more sports and on a more frequent basis. Um, the second element is the fact that we're creating space so every sport has a dedicated area rather than where, where we've got at the moment potentially some shared use. Um, for us to be uh, able to take the uh, community into the facility, it's the ancillary areas that are the big problem and our changing rooms are of a very poor standard at the moment and if we are going to be charging for the community to come and use, then the facilities have to be up to standard. This development is clearly a controversial one and with no set date for the go ahead from the council and a further two and a half years from that in order to develop it, there's a long way to go before UEA and the local residents start to see any real progress here. All the residents and the ecology experts can hope for is that their voices are taken into consideration to make a complex that can be enjoyed by humans and nature together. Taylor Bennett, reporting from East Anglia.